All right, Jason here from Septic Tank TV, and in today's short video, I'm going to explain the difference between a septic tank and a treatment plant. Which do you need? Should you go for a septic tank or should you go for a treatment plant? Which one? And if so, why would you choose that one above the other one or vice versa? Well, let me explain. Okay, so a septic tank basically um, is a non-electric system. So you poo in your wee, it goes into it, the poo stays in the tank, the liquid drains away via a soak away, which is in the soil. A treatment plant, typically 99% of them run on electricity. But a treatment plant, it's called that because it does exactly what it says on the tin. Your poo and your wee go into the tank, it's treated, the uh, sewage is clean so it can discharge straight into a water course. So why would you want a septic tank over a treatment plant or why would you need a treatment plant over a septic tank? Well, it's really, really simple, right? If you are putting a new sewage system in and it's 15 meters or closer to water, that could be a ditch, a stream, a river, a brook, then by law, you have to go for a treatment plant. So that's why some people go for these other than a septic tank. If you're not by any water or you're 15 meters or more away from any water, then you can just go for a septic tank, okay? So what are the pros and cons, right? of a septic tank and treatment plant. Let's say you just wanted to be, you're an eco-friendly person and you wanted to put a treatment plant in. What are the pros and the cons? Well, <coughs> well, number one, with a septic tank, as I said, there's no electricity. So that means that there's, there's no moving parts. There's no cogs, there's no motors, no pulleys, no bearings, no servicing, no electricity, nothing to break down, anything. So that's the pro with a septic tank. With electricity, right, near water, and cogs and motors and compressors, compressors all near water, then <laughs> basically they break down in a few years time. They all do, right? In fact, um, with a treatment plant, you only get one year's warranty on all the electrical moving parts, right? So that just gives you a, an indication of how long they last before you need to replace, you know, motors and compressors and, and stuff like that. And they're also expensive to run. They can cost you anywhere from up to a thousand pound a year in electricity costs. And you need uh, to get them serviced once a year. With a septic tank, there's none of that malarkey, right? Septic tanks typically are half the price of a treatment plant. So for example, you can buy a septic tank and soak away kit um, for three to four bedroomed house. Uh, cost you about two and a half grand for a treatment plant. They can cost you like five grand something like that You know, so they're typically about half the price of a treatment plant. Okay Septic tanks and soakaways uh, So septic tank and soakaway kits are really easy to install take you about two or three hours to do it You don't need any Specialist knowledge or specialist equipment or specialist help you can do it yourself with a digger with a treatment plant, you've got to get professionals in. You need an electrician. You need um, a, a qualified and certified company to put it in. Um, and then, so that's going to cost you anywhere from eight to 15 grand to put in. This will cost you two and a half. So these are like 11, 12,000 quid cheaper. Now I'm not demonizing treatment plants. They have got a place and there's many good treatment plants out there. I'm just basically showing you the difference between a septic tank and a treatment plant and why you'd go for one instead of the other. So I hope this uh, video has helped. If you'd like to see more free videos that go a little bit more in depth into these subjects, then just type in septic tank TV uh, on Google or go to uh, YouTube and uh, yeah, enjoy my free videos. So listen, thank you once again very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon.